From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, December 17th, 2013. In the news, officials in the village of Fort Yukon are investigating three fires that have burned buildings in the last two weeks. AP reports fire twice hit a tribal education building. A fire also destroyed an unoccupied home and shed. City police officer Michael Ivey says the causes of the fires are still under investigation. The first fire December 3rd burned the shed. A fire later that night damaged the Council of Athabascan Tribal Governments Education Center across town. Fire broke out again at the damaged education center on December 4th, and a fire December 8th destroyed an unoccupied log cabin. The United States Postal Service has extended their hours to accommodate the holidays. Postal workers logged an extra day on Sunday to deliver packages in Alaska to ensure that all gifts arrive at their destinations on time. Fairbanks was one of the spots where the Postal Service increased their hours. Officials say December 23rd is the busiest mail day of the season and an estimated 12 billion cards are mailed between Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve. And the tallest building in Alaska has a new owner. AP reports a private partnership consisting of JL Properties, Washington Capital Management, and Cook Inlet Region Incorporated has purchased the ConocoPhillips office complex in downtown Anchorage. JL Properties spokeswoman Kathy Day says ConocoPhillips will remain the primary tenant. The 22-story building has 677,000 square feet and is valued at $99 million. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather for today. It's periods of snow, areas of fog, and highs 15 to 20 below. Tonight, snow is likely, lows 20 to 25 below. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, snow likely in the morning, scattered snow showers in the afternoon, and not as cold with highs 0 to 10 below. Extended outlook, mostly cloudy, chance of snow through the weekend with highs moving much closer to zero. Air index is unhealthy in North Pole, unhealthy for sensitive groups in Fairbanks, and the aurora forecast is low. And that's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. On behalf of your News Center 11 team, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching.